Hello, hello, hope you're doing awesome. This is gonna be a quick tutorial on the S1 Stereo Imager. It's a stereo widening plugin made by Waves and it's really cool, it's really easy to use, and it just always sounds great. There's lots of stereo widening plugins out there, but sometimes it just sounds a bit off, like it doesn't sound, it doesn't do what you want it to do. Um, a good use for this plugin is, let's say you like your overall mix, but you just wish it was a little bit wider. Even though you've done all the panning techniques and things like that, that's what, how a plugin can help. Or let's say you've got a group of you know certain instruments and you just want it to be wider out to the sides and not taking up you know the center of your stereo space. So let me show you how we can quickly use this plugin. So let me play back this track. Cool. So let's say we love this mix and we just want to make it wider. Okay. So this is a very straightforward plugin. There's lots of things here. Basically, what all you need to know is here's your overall gain, the overall volume. You want to leave that the same. And this is your width. The further you bring it up, the wider it's going to get. The further you bring it down, the narrow the narrower the stereo field is going to get. And if you hit Alt and click on it, the fader, it's going to bring it back to normal. You have different input modes, which kind of switch between left and right, and mid-side, and polarity and all that. I, I'm not going to open up that can of worms. That's just a much longer discussion and not what we're going to be looking at here. We're just going to be looking at the basics. So let's hear what it does. Hear that? I'm kind of clicking this on and off, but you can hear that like right around in here is a pretty good sweet spot. If we keep going up too much, it messes with the overall mix and you hear the reverb kind of getting messed up. Um, so that's that. Now, if if we're finding that it's widening it, but we want a little, it's making one side a little heavy, like the left is a little bit louder than the right. You've got this um, little asymmetry and rotation knob, which can kind of help with that. So let me show you what the asymmetry does. I'm going to start moving this as we play along. I'm going to really, let's turn this up. So you can see how you can really mess with the stereo image. Now sometimes your track may be too wide and you want to narrow the stereo width. Like a lot of times, say a piano is mic'd and is really, really wide. Let me show you that. So I'm going to take this off and we'll go to our piano. Let's. See what that did? So let's hear it in the mix. It made it narrower almost. It's not taking up the full stereo spectrum, so we can kind of sit it back in the mix a bit. And then we can pan it around the room. See, if we take this off, it's, it's kind of equally on the left and right, watch. Or you can pan it down here. And if we turn this off,
See, that's kind of cool. Now let's say we wanted to make some like a track wider um, and not narrower, like we did with our stereo track. Let's say, let's listen to our, our short strings. Kind of cool, right? So that's basically how you can use a stereo imager, particularly the S1 Waves. Um, if uh, I'll show you the Logic one real quick. Why not, right? So I'm going to put this on the stereo track, or on the, the, um, the master, so, so you can hear the difference. Let's go to... We'll go to Utility, Specialized, Modulation, Imaging, Stereo Spread. Here's the logic one, okay? I'll go through some presets. Let's well, actually, let's just go to. No, let's go through some presets. It's cool, but you can see how it's going to take a lot more tweaking, whereas with this, it's very straightforward. Now, another trick that you can use to, to widen things is by using a sample delay, which I can cover in another um, tutorial, and what that will do is that will also spread things out. So, hear that? But that generally makes things really, 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 really wide. So anyway, hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And feel free to hit me up if you'd like me to cover anything further. And I hope you have a great one. Feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome one wherever you are. All right, take care.